All right, guys, coming to you live from the New York International Auto Show here. Just gonna take a quick lap around the entire show just so y'all can see everything. So bear with me because there are a lot of voices on the intercoms that might be over mine a little bit, but we're just gonna walk through here and take a look at everything. So Kia's over here, Telluride, New Sorrento, EV9. And then the EV6 back there. Really looking forward to doing a test drive on an EV9 when I can, because I'm interested on how those drive, but everything else is also pretty interesting that they have there. The Nero's over there. I think that new Carnival's over there somewhere. And then Subaru over here. But one of my favorite things to do is go find the, there's a new Forester to go find the the exotic car so <laughs> but to check these out so y'all leave a comment below and let me know what these are because luckily they're all in different colors but i just like going to these they're fun Volkswagen over there. I got here like 30 minutes early and it's still packed. And it's the media day too, so. Now this is what I'm most excited about right here. That's my dream car. It's beautiful. Let's go check out what's over here. Interesting. I've not heard of that. I know about this one. But I love coming to the auto show. The only thing that's kind of annoying is like people come in here with like full on news gear and they'll hog the cars for like 30 minutes. And I just want one minute to do the inside and the outside. <sighs> but whatever. New Traverse over there. Can't wait to test that one out. Of course, new Silverado EVs. There's the all electric Equinox. Now, this is another car I really want right here. It's a new E Ray. Beautiful. Look at that. Yeah, that is nice. go over to Ford see what they have everything else over here at Chevy I've pretty much done a review on <laughs> but I wanted to do like I said just a tour because a lot of the good stuff is already people with whole camera crews and whatnot are over there holding on to them for 30 minutes Excited for the new F-150 as well. That Platinum is very nice. But y'all, if you wanna see something in particular, just go ahead and skip through. If you're waiting for the Toyotas or whatever, just whenever I get to those. But this way, if you all don't wanna come all the way out to New York and see everything and kind of pay for that trip you can get a glimpse here i'll take a look a close look at these 2025s just because i haven't reviewed one of these yet 
with them not being out, but these are the new 25 Explorers. And I'm so glad they have the rear blinds. I don't know if they had them in the outgoing model, but a lot of manufacturers kind of dropping the ball by not putting the integrated rear blinds in the rear seats for those who have babies that they want to keep asleep and not be woken up by the glare of the sun. But yeah, that is nice. It's kind of grown on me. I didn't like them when I first saw them, the new body style, but I'm feeling them now. There's a new Ranger. Looking forward to that, doing a test drive there. And I've already driven the Bronco Raptors, which I do love, but it looks like this one has the, the tops off on it. I'm really feeling that actually. Yeah, that's, that's a bad boy right there. But let's go ahead and make our way to Nissan because the new Kicks is over there. It's like a maze in here. So Aria, the Leaf. It's funny as like cars get, I don't even want to say older, but like as they come out, all of a sudden they're just out and about. But when they, like they're in the concept stage, they're about to be released in the next year or so. Like this Z here, they had to keep it roped off and all that. And now it's just like, here, come touch it. We don't care. Still haven't driven one of these yet, which I'd love to. So we'll take a quick look at this kicks. There's that there. Don't want to get these people's way. Look around here. So not a bad looking car, honestly. At all. There's the back end there. Of course, the hatch is up, but I think these will sell pretty, pretty well. Just with them being all new, kind of where Nissan used their bread and butter, just redesigning stuff and making it look very futuristic, even if the quality isn't always as good as it could be. Let me put it that way. But we're gonna walk back over. Oh, look, this just came in. I'm gonna try to get over to Porsche again. And I appreciate y'all bearing with me here. Actually, let me look at this new Traverse. So I saw this at the auto show, but I didn't actually get to put my hands on one. And they've got the, the 24 Traverse Limiteds out at dealerships now which is so annoying i hate when chevy does that but as of now this should be coming pretty soon and of course everybody's going with the well they're at least trying to make it look like one whole screen there i don't know how i feel about that but Kind of like the Blazer EV, you're probably gonna have most of your controls in the actual screen, which I feel like a lot of people will not appreciate at first, but. I mean, the design is spot on, I think. Muscular angles, just a, a very aggressive looking vehicle.
But over here to Porsche, we have the Panamera over here. There's the all new Macan EV. And then we also have the Cayenne over there and the Taycan as well. The Cayenne Coupe, I believe. I'm just curious how much these cost. So this is the Panamera 4, 132. But love the design of these Numacon EVs. They're just very Tycon esque, I think. This is still a dream car of mine. These are just still ex so expensive. These Tycons, I expected them to drop off like rocks, like the rest of the EVs, but of course they didn't. Well, these are still an arm and a leg to get with Turbo S2. Yeah, I'd love to have one of those. But we're coming back over to Subaru. I'm gonna try and get a closer look at these Foresters. Now these are supposed to be prototypes, but. I like how they did the, the graphics down here. It's like a TV screen. Looks pretty neat. Now, of course, the screen, well, it actually feels like I'm moving. It's kind of weird. The screen is supposed to, well, obviously it looks similar to the outgoing models, but going to get that same capability and then some in terms of CarPlay, Android Auto, radio and all that. Yeah, this, this floor is really trippy. I feel like I'm floating down a river, but I'm standing still. Over here breaking a sweat doing all this. Let's go to Toyota, see what they have over there. I probably should have gone live with this, but I didn't know how this would work out. But so far I think it's working out pretty well. back on Volkswagen so the new atlases are over here I don't I don't like the light bar right there I just think every time I see these on the road I think that looks so goofy of course here in the auto show especially in this blue I'm thinking you know what, that looks pretty nice but every time I see them in person I'm just like why do they put a a light bar like that on these cars the new ID sevens over there now at Chicago Auto Show, I did show the the buzz there. At least I tried to. Now ID7 here. Interesting interior choice to look like the Tesla, I think. But the design is there. I really like that. Big long car though, so I'm wondering. Let's see if it uh, will show the range. So we're probably gonna get 280, I'd expect. EPA estimated range. But good looking car, I think. Now, I don't think there are any new Toyotas that have come out since Chicago Auto Show. I still haven't reviewed the Prius because in Tennessee, I cannot find those anywhere. As soon as they hit the lots, they're sold. So there's one there. Take a quick look inside. Need to zoom out. These are packed in pretty tight. Inside there, of course, the shifter is gone here at the show, but 
Still haven't driven a BZ4X. Man, I need to catch up. It's just a lot of the stuff, probably the past year or so, we just got finished with the, the vehicle crisis where everybody was buying everything up 10 grand over sticker before it could even hit the lots. And where I've been working on NBCR Magazine, I've really not had as much time as I usually do to review the vehicles I want before they're sold. They're not being sold as soon as they arrive, but now it's taking about a week or two. And by the time I can get out to a certain store, it's already gone. But I'm gonna be bringing y'all a lot of content I've just been working on the magazine, NBCR magazine. I've been working with a toddler, you know, trying to be present. So I've had a lot going on, but I'm about to kick it back into high gear. I need to get a Lexus store because there's a TX there. I really like those. And I like them a lot better than the Grand Highlander, honestly. I just think that it looks better in this form as opposed to in the Toyota. And the GXs, I don't know. I like that Land Cruiser actually better. And at first I was not feeling that way. But yeah, the TXs are definitely my favorite Lexus right now. Let's go over to Infinity, see if I can get a look at this QX80. A better look, I should say. So there it is there. And a pretty stunning design. They did a great job with the exterior. I mean, that's just beautiful. Very, very pretty design. See if I can get a quick look at the interior. Oh, that's nice. That's real nice. So it looks like you can control the screens or control that little tablet looking screen there in the middle seat. And there's the driver's seat there. Very, very impressive. We have massage function, it looks like. Interesting sound system choice. I'll see how that sounds. If I can get my hands on one in the future. But yeah, really loving how they did this interior. This is what I was most excited about coming here. I mean, that's just a beautiful, beautiful vehicle. Now, I'm not sure about the powertrain. I wonder if they're gonna keep that same V8 in there. I would assume so, but I haven't really done my research on it. This is my first time actually looking into it at all. Now, a twin turbo option would be very cool, especially in a V8, but Time will tell. Yeah, that is, yeah, I'm even more impressed with that in person. It's very, very good design choice. Now I wanna take a look at this Sierra EV over here. But here's a quick walk around of the ZDX. Acura's new EV, I believe. They did a great job with the interior though. Like most Acura's, it looks very good on the inside. Just a few quirky things that become an issue. I'm talking about you, Acura MDX. At least the 22 model, 
That navigation system I can't stand. We'll see when these come out how much the price is, but that is pretty impressive, 325 miles. Now, this back corner of the Javits Center here in New York, New York City, the lighting is always awful, I don't know why. So it always seems darker back here. But I am gonna see if I can take a look at this Sierra EV. I low key want to step over this glass. I'm not going to. Now, this is pretty exciting. And there are the numbers there. If y'all want to pause, take a closer look at that. But the truck itself, obviously it's sitting on the same platform as the Silverado EV, but just something about the design. Per usual when it comes to the GMCs, it just looks better to me. I like how the taillights look. The front fascia is beautiful, especially in this Denali trim level, the wheels, everything about it. And I am curious how much this is gonna cost Cause you can get a Denali, you know, just a gas powered truck for what, mid sixties up to 80, 90 grand. If you go with an ultimate, actually it's probably just 70 now, mid sixties is probably in the past, but for this truck right here, I'm guessing it's probably going to be six figures. Hummer EVs over there, Denali HD ultimate. Now I had one of these on pre-order and I decided against it just because it's still a ton of money for me to pay over $100,000 for something like this. Now if it was just me and I didn't have a kid and a family, then yeah, I'd get one, but <laughs> it just, you know, not really my, my cup of tea. And I had the pickup truck version, which didn't have like curtain airbags and things like that. I'm just a, a spaz when it comes to safety. So I just feel like even though it's huge, if I already get an accident or something, I'd want to have 100 airbags as opposed to, I think the truck comes with four. Let's see what's over here. It looks like Volvo's over here in this corner. I hope y'all can hear me because it would suck if I was just doing this one take for 30 minutes and there's no audio. <laughs> but this is also interesting how they have these roped off. That's a V60 recharge, huh? 73 grand. I like it though. It's XC40, looks like an XC60, XC90 down there. And then some Audis over here. But nothing crazy, don't see any e-trons. V10 R8, nice. Was an SQ5? Yeah. Oh, this is an e-tron right here. I don't know why I thought it was something else in the back. Two e-trons. So I lied. Two EVs here. And that's a sport back there. They're doing test drives in the Ionic 5N, it looks like. Might do that a little later. I'm gonna wrap around here to Hyundai. Oh yeah, Polestar has some nice stuff coming out. They already took the cover off of that over there, that car. So I've got a picture of it already. I'll show that in the magazine when that drops, hopefully mid-April, end of April. But yeah, Polestar just has some nice looking stuff coming out. Very impressed. 
and then the new Hyundais are coming out. 25 Santa Cruz and the Tucson are all covered up there. So I'll make a separate video for those because they're dropping those in about an hour. What kind of contraption is that? But the Tucson, again, Santa Cruz. The front ends look pretty similar just underneath the, the wraps there, but, or the covers, excuse me. But again, we'll see when those come off, how impressive they are. Now, Genesis, in typical Genesis fashion, brought out some wild concepts, which are freaking crazy. I mean, I don't even know how you come up with this. My gosh, that thing there is nasty. I would love to have me one of those. I like this GV60 too, magma concept. But honestly, this paint is what really does it. This orange, man. But look at the back end of this thing, man. Oh my gosh. Thing is freaking sick. And in this concept, I'm excited about this. That looks just hardcore. I don't know what the heck they're, what is that? Look at that back seat. I don't even make no sense. That is something. Yeah, that's crazy. I might have to uh, look in on one of those. <laughs> Let me see the back end. Oh my gosh. I see that screen right there. Can I take a quick look? Yeah, yes, oh. just no touching and no Oh, entry. I won't, trust me, thank you. Yeah, that is, that's insane. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I can't, you know, they're gonna make one of these eventually. And when they do, that's gonna be a, a good day. This is very neat. Thank you, I appreciate it. Yeah, that thing there is freaking nasty. But I think I've pretty much touched on everything. Again, just wanted to give you all a quick walk around of the New York International Auto Show. Some very cool stuff coming. And then probably some very cool stuff that is not coming. Like that, but it might, who knows. As always, thank y'all so much for tuning in. And I'll catch you on the next video.